Hello everyone, I'm at Costco and I need groceries. So I thought I'd take you along with me. This place is packed. I'm gonna show you what you can get when you're on keto at Costco. All right, Costco. I do love getting these. My husband loves them, I love them. The macros are good, you just gotta be careful. So, it's one carb but not per stick, per 28 G's. What I like to do is take those snack bags I show you, pre-measure out this whole bag of meat sticks, and I leave a few in there for my husband, and then I know I'm only eating one carb when I pick up one of my snack bags. There's tip for you, $12.99 at Costco. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. New at Costco, I love them. Those are those mini little bee sticks. I have a bag at home. I'm not going to get them. Way better for you than those oh boy Alberta ones I just showed you. But my husband loves it. So that's why I got them. But zero carbs per a stick. So my suggest is 15 bucks. And it's 28 count. Okay, these protein bars here. The Kirkland Signature brand. Pope protein bars are keto you can have these I haven't tried them so I can't tell you if they taste good or not but here is the macros and that's four net carbs for the chocolate brownie bar and for the chocolate chip for three grams of carbs for this one so there's $17.99 you know what I'm getting this it's good in a pinch hey bonus clip for you. Go ahead and try one of those for you right now and I'll let you know if it's worth buying at Costco. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is the chocolate brownie bar. Let's see. That's a win at Costco. I love these. It's $9.99 for a 1.2 pound bag of bacon crumbles. The macros are zero on it. Definitely keto at Costco. Something new. Adobo tequila bold sauce for a bold meal. It says you can put on chicken, enchilada, and tacos. The macros are good. It is two nut carbs for two tablespoons. It is $7.79 for a quart of it. 32 ounces. Um, yeah. That looks really good. Johnny's. Let's buy the brand Johnny's. I want to try it. I'm having tacos tonight, so I'm going to try it. And the bottle's cool. It's like an old jug here, and it's glass. I love it. You can definitely get the paste picani sauce here. It's two carbs for two tablespoons, and it's great on your eggs. Okay? Paste picani sauce. Five thirty-nine dollars for two big bottles. I'm getting it. Dijon mustard, I love it. It's on sale for $1.50 off. You get two bottles in there that are 16 ounce each. Awesome, I'm getting it. I'm out of Dijon, perfect. This is the mayo I use. It's avocado mayo. It doesn't have any soybean oil in it or canola oils in it, which is not good for you if you haven't heard. Okay, there is the ingredients nice and clean it's like really good tasting i love it 6.99 for a 24 ounce jar best price i've found for avocado mayo definitely get that and i need some so i'm getting one pecans for two pounds is 13.49 i've been paying 10 bucks per bag at, Ch at trader joe's this saves me a ton of money macros one net carb per quarter cup goodness they finally got the land what is it lactanto that bread monk fruit sweetener classic white sugar replacement it is $8.99 or 28.2 ounce bag 1.76 pounds I'm getting that 
I have definitely bought this extra virgin oil with a dash of garlic. It's $10.79. I'm actually out of it, so I'm going to get some. $10.79. It's one liter bottle right here. It is amazing. And if you're putting that to finish on top of your salmon or on top of your salad, mwah, good. $10.79. Great price. Gaya. Garlic salt is a good one. So this is a win. $6.89. I'm getting it. It's garlic salt with parsley in it. That's it. Okay. You can get your organic unsweetened almond milk here. They got vanilla flavored. $7.99 for six quarts. And the macros is zero. Zero carbs for one cup. It's a great place to get almond milk. I've been spending a lot on organic coffees. I'm, I really like Folgers. So, 3.2 pounds for $9.69 of Classic Rose. I'm getting it. $11.49 for four eight ounce bag, uh, <laughs> bags, blocks of Kerrygold butter. This is where I buy it. It's a great price. I'm out of butter, so I'm getting some. This is new. Paleo. A lot of things are saying paleo or keto these days, right? Organic, basil, cracked pepper, smoked chicken sausage. Macros are good. It's one carb a piece for one link. And the price is $13.79 for two and a quarter pounds. Same price as the Tetons. These look really good. Oh, I wanted to show you. These are an option. I like these sometimes. You get meat, you get Genoa, salami, and provolone in a little snack pack. These are great for on the go. This Dubliner, this Dubliner Kerrygold cheese. It's white cheddar. It is $5.89 a pound. So for this block, it's going to cost me $11.43. Love it. I do like this right here. These snack meats. You get two packs for $11.99. And they're really good macros on them. Okay? Mostly, are, they're all zero carbs. So good. So keto. So mine. Going in the cart. Zero carbs, three ounces. Smoke pulled pork. I'll put the J. Hughes barbecue sauce in there. Mm mm mm. $10.99. I'm getting it. Two pounds. Oh, this is new. Chicken skewers. Are these keto? Mediterranean style. Yeah, these are keto. So you get two skewers for three carbs. It's not bad. You can put some sauce on it, heat it up. That's not bad. $10.99 for 24 ounce. That's a good meal in a pinch if you just need a, some meat on the go. You know what? I'm getting me some chicken skewers. My favorite guacamole, I like it better than the avocado by numbers, is this chunky guacamole. They're little tiny to-go packs. See that? I think I need some, so I'm going to grab it. So this is two net carbs per little pack. Okay? And it's $10.49. Not bad. It's by Good Foods. Chunky guacamole. Definitely keto. Yummy. I came mainly for eggs. Two dozen for $6.39 for organic eggs. Love it. Yellow squash and zucchini mix. That's new. Organic squash is 3.5 pounds for $6.99. And you get it back. So you get a mixture. I think I'm going to just bake that up and put it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. Okay, I always get this organic ground beef here at Costco. 20 bucks for 4 pounds. So it makes it $5 a pound. You get a 3 pack here making tacos tonight. So I'm getting this. So they got the mini baby bills on sale, just the regular cheddar ones, $7.89. You're getting like $3.60 off the bag. 
I'm almost out of my white cheddar, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this kind this time, because it's cheaper. Your center cut applewood bacon by Hippler, right here, but it's expensive. I get three pounds for $14.59, which is a great price compared to stores. But, you know what? I've been buying the cured stuff lately, and I'm okay with it. So I get the Kirkland brand four pound one four one pound packages for 14 bucks so I mean that saves me a bunch of money and this bacon is really good I see a lot of recipes that use chicken breasts I don't really buy them that much um, but I'm okay with Foster Farms it's $21.99 for 10 pounds of chicken breasts so that makes it $2.19 a pound not a bad price it's frozen you can throw it in Instapot or the crock pot I like that idea, so I'm gonna get some. I like to use Kerrygold to top my foods or put in my coffee, but I'll use this Kirkland butter, not margarine, butter, to cook with, because it's cheaper. It's four one pounds for $11.99, good price. I use the mozzarella for my fathead doughs, $11.39. For five pounds it's amazing price and I didn't think I was gonna eat it all I'm already done with it from my last Costco haul so it's time to get another bag oh just so you know the white cheddar baby bills are on sale too so not just the red but I already got white cheddar at home now I have the red okay I made it home from Costco and I spent three hundred and twenty five dollars $325.93 to be exact. You saw what I put in my cart, but I wanted to run through it with you real quick. I'm not going to tell you the prices of everything because I don't want this to be an hour video, right? You saw the prices when I picked them up. Uh, if you need to know a price, please watch back or comment below and I'll definitely tell you the price. Um, so let's get to the meats so I can get those in the fridge. All right, hold on. All right, let's get to the meats. And the eggs. Of course, I got the organic eggs. Um, it's two dozen. But you can get the cage free. You know, get what's in your budget and what you're willing to deal with. I like to try to do organic as much as possible. But as you see, not all my stuff is organic, okay? Pick your battles. It's expensive. I get it. It's best to eat as clean as possible, though. Just so you know. All right. So eggs, four pounds of organic ground beef. Now this is not grass fed, I don't think. No, but it's raised without antibiotics and no added growth hormones and it saves me about $2 a pound from the grass fed beef. And it's good beef, I'm okay with that. I will tell you, $19.99 for four pounds makes it $5 a pound. Look at the grass fed beef, you're lucky. Maybe on sale, you get it. <laughs> that made a slap. You'll get it $5 a pound, but I haven't seen it yet. It's usually around $7.99, $6.99 a pound. Of course, four pounds of bacon. Not bad price there. I got the smoked pulled pork. I definitely will be having this during the week. I might even freeze half of this because remember, it's just me and my husband here. So it's going to go bad. I, I'm going to put GHU's barbecue sauce on it. It's going to be good. All right. Oh, my God. Ten pounds of chicken breasts. <laughs> Ten pounds. I think it was $2.19 a pound of frozen chicken breasts. That's going to sit in my deep freeze, and I'll just pull them out and throw them in a crock pot, make keto crack chicken. I've been wanting to make that. So that's my plan with those. And organic garlic flavored olive oil. You can also get a smaller bottle at Trader Joe's. Uh, chicken sausage, the organic basil cracked black pepper smoked chicken sausage. It's one carb per link. That's going to be amazing. I'm looking for meat. I don't know why they mixed it. Okay, yeah. Chicken skewers. That's great. I'm going to freeze some of these. I'm going to leave out one pack. It's two packs. I'm going to leave out one pack. 
and put the other one in the freezer so I can pull it out later and it won't go bad. Two skewers per serving, and it looks like two, four, six, seven skewers in each pack. So that's going to be good. I got that GH Hughes honey mustard sauce. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try it with these skewers. I think it would be really good on them. Uh, let's see. My favorite, the anti-pasto platter. No, it's not really. It's just the meats for the anti-pasto, right? This is so good. It says anti-pasto gran bretta. It's really good. They have Italian dry salami, black pepper coated Italian dry salami, dry copa, and prosciutto in here. Really good. Wrap that around some cheese. Yummy. In the shredded mozzarella from our fathead pizzas. All right. Baby bell cheese. Looking. Oh, uh. Chunky guacamole. Highly recommended. Little individual packs. So good. Regular old real butter. No, you cannot have margarine on keto. I do get some questions like that. Six chickens, babe, already. I didn't buy any chicken, babe. I bought chicken breast. Just breast. My husband's worried. We do. We have a freezer full of meat. I don't need much meat. That's why you only saw me get chicken breast and ground beef. Okay? I did need that. We got six whole chi chickens in the freezer. Like you said, I vacuum seal them. the last a very long time, if not forever. Not forever, but at least a year. I ate one the other day that was in there a year, and it was good. So, okay, Kerrygold Dubliner cheese. Highly recommended. Zero carbs. So good, so sharp. Kerrygold butter. Remember, I use that for putting it on my broccoli or my salmon or my steak or in my coffee. And I use that Kirkland butter to cook with, like in recipes. Okay, because I don't want to waste my carry gold. And then I got these snack packs right here. These are good. The big ones are gross. My husband hated them. But the little ones are really good. This is Citerio. Citerio, Citerio, whatever. It's Genoa salami and provolone. Right? Yeah. So each pack is zero carbs. So amazing snack. And okay, I got two veggies this time because, like I said, veggies been going bad. So I got summer squash and zucchini mixed. I'm going to probably chop this all at once, coat it with avocado oil and garlic salt and pepper and roast it in the oven and then have it for a meal and the rest will go in the freezer so I can pull it out for a side. Otherwise it's going bad, right? This is a three and a half pounds of squash, zucchini and yellow. Both are keto. And then baby spinach for salads. Yes, it keeps going bad because it's just me eating it. But what you gonna do? Three bucks, right? Three ninety nine. Okay, this is not at Costco, but I thought I'd show you since I talked about it. That's that GH Shoes sugar free honey mustard dipping sauce. I'm gonna eat that with the chicken skewers. I think that'll be good. Okay, put all the food away. Got two big jars of Grey Poupon mustard, zero carbs. Yummy, Dijon. I got those beef pepperoni sticks, oh boy, Alberto, and we know why, because my husband loves them. I have the Country Archer ones somewhere else around here that I tend to eat them. I got another bag of bacon crumbles. I got that new adobo tequila sauce, bold sauce for a bold meal, chicken, enchiladas, and tacos. It says it's good on. So we're going to test that out tonight. Um, I got me those protein bars, Kirkland brand. This is the first time I bought bars since I've been on keto. 
but I'm finding sometimes, especially doing YouTube and working full time, I don't have time to cook and so this is good on the go. The new find at Costco was the Lacanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. It has a Rithal and Monk Food in it. Fruit? Monk Food? Monk Fruit in it. It's zero carb sweetener. Highly recommended. I got that garlic salt, the pecans, raw. I'm going to put these on a roasting pan of parchment, put my oven on 225, and put some avocado oil and salt and roast them up. It's going to be so good. So, and then, of course, some more avocado mayo, paste picante sauce. My husband likes it. It's the mild. Unfortunately, that's okay. I'll put this in Tabasco with it. Um, uh, we did that. Okay, one thing you did not see. <laughs> I got me these slipper socks. Oh my God, so cute. Got little tails on them. They're on sale $6.99 for two. I just thought they're adorable. Not keto, but cute. Case of organic almond milk. To last me a year. Hopefully the date lasts me a year. <laughs> Let's see. These are good to March 11, 2020. So almost a year. So that's good. All right. I don't put almond milk in my coffee. I like heavy cream. They didn't have any there and I'm out. So I guess I'm having almond milk tomorrow. But I got it. So I can do maybe collagen at night with the almond milk in it. Last thing, got me a big old tub of Folgers Classic Roast Coffee. I've been spending a lot of money on coffee, and I put a lot of stuff in my coffee. So, this is good enough for me, and it was like 10 bucks for, what, 3.3 pounds of coffee. I still have beans over there from Trader Joe's that is organic. Then I have to grind them up in the morning. This is more efficient for me and it tastes good so folders and that's it that's my keto gro grocery haul yeah i did it i filmed at costco even when it was super busy i hope you liked my costco haul and i gave you some ideas of what to buy at costco if you have a membership or you know someone with a membership you can save some money at costco Yes, the initial run cost a bit of money, but these items will last me a heck of a long time, okay? So especially if it's just two of us. If you have a large family and you're not doing Costco, you're not doing it right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, or maybe Sam's Club. You could do Sam's Club. They closed all the Sam's Club here. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell below so you can see all the other keto things I'm going to show you. I do weekly weight loss updates. I do what I eat in the days. I do keto recipes. And I do grocery hauls. Thank you. And have a great day. Be keto strong and keto on.